Hello and welcome to the SWS Classroom Chat. Now, chemistry is an important examination for students, science students of class 12, because it's an important component, not just for the board examinations, but also whether you are preparing for JE, NEET, and now the CUET, if you want to pursue, say, a BSc Chemistry Honours. Joining me now is Ms. Deali Sen Gupta, chemistry teacher, having been a board examiner for many years, understands how the ISC chemistry system actually functions. Now, let me ask you a more broader question, ma'am. Uh, while students are preparing for their ISC class 12 board examination for chemistry, uh, how do they also keep in mind their preparation at the same time for JE, which will follow the board examinations or NEET, which will again uh, follow a month later? Um, uh, good morning. It's a pleasure to be on your show. And um, actually for class 12, um, the study should be absolutely concept based. Hmm. So the portion that is there in either semester one or semester two, all the chapters involve the concept to be very, very clear. Hmm. And if the concept is clear, whether it's a physical chapter or whether it is organic, it is definitely going to help them in both hmm. the examination, hmm. a board exam or a competitive exam. Hmm. It's just that in a competitive exam, the level of questions are tougher, hmm. but the portion, since it is the same, and what we are studying, the content is also almost the same, except in some chapters, there's a little bit of a difference in the content. That's right. So uh, the more they can clear their concept, hmm. just, you know, um, even when they are studying, they should look into what is actually behind, uh, you know, the text that is written. What concept is working? What do I apply? Because this is basically application. Yes. Whatever they are studying, hmm. uh, if their concepts are thorough, they can apply what they are going to, what they are studying. And ICSC and IIC also, in fact, IIC rather, would uh, do does set questions more based on concept also. Right. So uh, whether it is a competitive or whether it's the IIC examination, I feel hmm. uh, conceptual, uh, you know, study will help them. Right. Definitely. No, when they're preparing for JE or NEET, I mean, those are MCQ based examinations. So yeah. they go with yeah. a particular study approach. Does the yes, study definitely. approach and revision approach have to be different when it comes to the ISC chemistry board exam? Yes, 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 definitely. The approach for writing a board exam is totally different because there they are preparing only for MCQs hmm. where they are just taking the right answer. Hmm. But here uh, the board demands that the, you know, the answer that they have written whether it's reasoning question or whether it is, you know, uh, uh, whatever, it's solving an organic problem, which is a structured question or yes. whether it's a conversion reaction. Yes. Normally, these are the things that they don't do for a board exam, a conversion reaction, yeah. etc., which is very, uh, sorry, yeah. for a competitive, for a competitive which exam. in fact is done for a board exam. Mm. Very commonly, these mm. questions are given. Mm. So uh, definitely the preparation has to be different. They have to, uh, you know, write and practice the conversion reactions. Um, as well as stress upon the structured questions in which they are identifying uh, the various uh, you know compounds that are given. Hmm. So uh, that bit is totally different. Numerical based questions here in IC they have to solve them and show all the steps okay. because here when we are correcting IC papers we do have step marks also. Hmm. Like the marks are divided as. Um, substitution, uh, first of course the formula, the hmm. substitution, hmm. the answer as well as the unit. Hmm. So they should be careful about stating the unit. Hmm. The step should be shown so that we see the substitution is correct. Hmm. Sometimes in case the last step the answer is incorrect hmm. but they have written uh, you know the formula is correct, the substitution is correct, then they do get step marks because here in ICU we are we do give half a mark also. Hmm. You know it's divided. Yeah. Suppose yes. it's a two mark question then half 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 half. You're right. So um, that is which they are not used to in a competitive exam. Absolutely. Where you're just taking the right answer. Yes. So all these things have to be, you know, just kept in mind. Okay. That numerical should be solved. Huh. The structured questions have to be done. So right. all that again will require practice for them. Right. Uh, this question from a student, as in what, please suggest tips on what students should take care while writing their answers. You address some of them. Like, specifically like observations, balancing, conditions of different reactions, uh, you know, how important they are in the way they actually express, do answers really need to be well fleshed out? Definitely. Presentation is very important, hmm. especially for the examiner who is checking. Hmm. So, uh, you know, precisely, they can just write the, suppose it's a manufacturer related question, then hmm. they write the equation. Hmm. What are the exact conditions can be given below hmm. it? 
and I see, suppose they are solving a structured question, however the way they do it in rough, you know, however they solve it in rough, hmm. when they are giving the answer, hmm. we are not, uh, when they, the examiner is not, you know, uh, very interested in knowing how the child has solved it. Hmm. We just need the answer A, B, C, D. Normally questions are like that. A is this, give the formula as well as the name. Hmm. B is this. Hmm. You know, so it becomes easier for the examiner to uh, correct. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, students of this batch 2022 would want to know what are the kind of mistakes their seniors made which they should look to avoid. So what are the common mistakes that you find when you are checking the answer scripts? Uh, I see again the common mistakes are in not writing the correct reasons. Uh, you know, they are missing out the uh, main, uh, to say the key words which hmm. the council looks for, hmm. you know, in the reasoning question. Hmm. So they should be very careful to include the correct keywords hmm. in the reasoning question. Hmm. If they are working out a numerical, they should be very careful that the unit has not hmm. been missed. Sometimes they just leave the, you know, answer in a number. You know, the so they missed out. Suppose it's an electrochemistry question or whatever. Yes. I mean, the unit is missed out. Hmm. So that they have to be careful about. Hmm. And then uh, again, when they are, they are writing the organic questions, observation related questions, again, I have found a lot of mistakes. As I told you, the observation should be what they can actually see. Hmm. You know, not that. They just, you know, uh, write this will happen. Like, suppose if I react this with this, this sort of thing will happen. That will not help. What right. exactly is happening has to be stated. Okay. You know, like right. iodoform test. Hmm. You know, for that you have to write a pale yellow precipitate as observed hmm. hmm. uh, with the smell of antiseptic. So that kind of things have to be kept hmm. in mind. Right. And um, are there really any quick fix ways to revise uh, a day or two before the examination? Um, one of course and is to for go through your notes. Definitely for uh, you know organic questions, they should write the name reactions together with this. Uh, IAC is very fond of giving name reactions. Hmm. So with this, sometimes the children find it difficult to you know relate the equation with the name. Hmm. So if they have it written separately in a quick hmm. glance, you know, the yes. uh, last minute revision that will right. help them. Right. The laws hmm. that they have to, you know, the hmm. laws can be revised, the hmm. mathematical statement of the laws, hmm. the formulae can be revised, hmm. all those kind of things can be done as a you know addition to what they have studied. Right. Uh, a common um, feedback is that chemistry also involves a bit of rote learning. Do you think that kind of an opinion is misplaced and probably the wrong approach uh, to look at chemistry? Uh, actually, in the plus two level, the hmm. rote learning is much, much lesser as compared to class 10. Hmm. In plus two, it is much, much conceptual. Organic chemistry can be learned totally conceptually, even hmm. the reactions, because hmm. they, they have done reaction mechanisms, the hmm. effects, all that have to be applied. Yeah. Yeah. So organic and physical is definitely very conceptual. Hmm. And there should be very minimum of rote learning in that. Hmm. Because once we know the concept behind the reactions, hmm. the reaction mechanisms, I think it's easier to understand organic reactions. Hmm. The only rote learning hmm. is when it comes to inorganic chemistry, hmm. where you have to learn the reactions pertaining to that particular chapter. Yeah. Uh, there's no other easy way of learning it than to write in practice. Hmm. And then this time in uh, semester two, they have coordination compounds. Yes. There they have to learn with IUPAC rules for naming the compounds which is very often given hmm. so uh, and those are of course the rules have to be learned we can't help it you know like no concept uh, for that hmm. so and then learn and practice that is hmm. it okay fine thank you very much for your time uh, Most great, welcome. Tips, uh, great tips great advice lots of suggestions which students should definitely implement and i'm sure they would find this extremely useful thank you very much ma'am thank you so much thank, thank you. you thank you